the way, and former Vice President Joe Biden is now the first Democratic presidential candidate to land an endorsement from one of Iowa's three Democrats in Congress. Freshman First District Representative Abby Finkenauer announced her support for the former vice president today. KCCI's Chris Gosner talked to our political analyst, Dennis Goldford, about how much influence endorsements have with caucus goers. A number of presidential candidates made stops in yeah, Iowa Thursday, but one landed a big endorsement. Every four years, you all here in Iowa set democracy on its path. Joe Biden earned the first endorsement from a sitting Iowa congressperson, First District Representative Abby Finkenauer, KCCI political analyst Dennis Goldford. Eastern Iowa is the vote-rich area for Democrats, and that's where Congresswoman Finkenauer lives and, and whom she represents. So that's why I think that uh, Biden would be happy that she endorsed him. A number of state lawmakers and other Iowa Democrats have endorsed, but does it really matter? I've tended to think that endorsements to a great extent really are a phenomenon of previous decades in electoral politics. Golfer says an endorsement is a symbolic seal of approval, but with the internet, for instance, there's a lot more information out there and Iowans are already politically savvy. And so they would already know pretty much what they think about particular candidates. So an endorsement wouldn't be as important. An example of all this might be when Attorney General Tom Miller endorsed Montana Governor Steve Bullock. A major endorsement by any measure, but one that didn't help Bullock measure up. He dropped out last month. Goldford says endorsements might make a difference for people who follow politics casually, but... The casual person isn't even likely to attend a caucus. Iowa's two other Democrats in Congress, Dave Loebsack representing the 2nd District and Cindy Axney representing the 3rd District, have not made any endorsements in the Democratic presidential race.